Well, hello there and welcome to this cooking show. You guys know that I love to cook and I've actually shared a lot of my Blue Apron ideas. So let's get down to business. Today we are going to cook. I don't need reading glasses. These are just really cute, so that's why I'm wearing them. Today we're going to do the spicy zucchini quesadillas. Cooking Andrea is going to be at the bottom or the right. I don't know where I'm going to put her. The ingredients for this, we're going to need two pasture raised eggs. We're going to need a lime, sliced pickled jalapeno pepper, one and a half tablespoons of golden raisins, 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 two flour tortillas, two scallions, a quarter cup of sour cream, one zucchini, one poblano pepper, and two ounces of Monterey Jack cheese. Now, I'm making this recipe for four people, so it's gonna be double this amount when I'm actually showing you the ingredients. But let's go and let me tell you how easy and simple and fun. Blue Apron just kinda makes it fun for you. Like, it gives you all these ingredients that you don't have to measure, you don't have to go to the grocery store, and it gives you a recipe that you can find at a restaurant. Like, every time that I cook something from Blue Apron, I feel like I'm at a restaurant, I feel like I created something but it's not like the regular that I usually do. Um, it just tastes different, it's exciting, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, okay, the first thing that we're gonna do is prepare the ingredients. We're gonna grate the zucchini, as you can see over here. We're gonna grate the cheese on the large side of a box grater as well. We're gonna thinly slice a scallion, separating the white button, the, the white buttons from the green button. The white buttons from the hollow green tops. Okay. We're gonna quarter the lime. I love lime, I can, do lime with everything. Cut off and discard the stems of the poblano pepper half lengthwise. Remove the ribs and seeds, then small dice. Okay, Frankie, be quiet. And then we're gonna roughly chop the jalapeno peppers. Thoroughly wash your hands, knife, and cutting board immediately after handling the peppers. All right, step number two. We only have six steps over here. Step number two, we're gonna cook the poblano pepper in a large pan, non-stick if you have one. Keep two teaspoons of olive oil on a medium high until hot. Add the diced poblano pepper in a large, even layer. Season with salt and pepper. Cook without stirring for three to four minutes or until charred. Continue to cook, stirring occasionally two to three minutes or until softened. The minutes that they tell you here in the recipe are to the T. I cannot tell you enough, like exactly the two to three minutes or four minutes is exactly when things start to get brown or the timing is just great. Then you're gonna transfer it to a bowl, wipe out the pan. I love that you can use the same pan for three different things in this recipe. I'm not a dishwasher. Make the filling. We're gonna fold in the cheese. No, I'm just kidding. <sighs> Step number three, we're gonna make the filling. In the same pan, heat two tablespoons of olive oil on a medium high until hot. Add the grated zucchini, season with salt and pepper, cook sternly frequently two to three minutes or until heated through. Transfer to a large bowl. Now we're gonna add in the raisins, the grated cheese, sliced white buttons of the scallions, the juice of a lime wedge, and as much of the chopped jalapeno pepper as you like. Season with salt and pepper, stir and combine. Step number four. Now we're going to cook and assemble the quesadillas. Place the tortillas on a work surface. Top one half of each tortilla with the filling. Fold the tortillas in half over the filling and then we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in the pan and we're gonna sear it for like two to four minutes each side. Transfer to a plate and immediately season with salt Cover with foil to keep it warm. Now for the last step, number five, cook the eggs however we like. So it says over here, two teaspoons of olive oil, crack the eggs into the pan, blah, blah, blah. We know how to cook eggs. I like them over easy, so I like let the bottom kind of get cooked and then I just flip it for like 30 seconds and then that's like the perfect egg for me. And then that's it. And then dress the poblano pepper and serve your dish. Meanwhile, to the bowl of cooked poblano pepper, add the sour cream, the juice of a lime wedge, and a drizzle of olive oil. Stir to combine. Taste, then season with salt and pepper if desired. Serve the cooked quesadillas topped with, with the dressed poblano pepper and a fried egg. Garnish with the slice of green top of the scallion. Serve the remaining lime wedges on the side and enjoy! I'm telling you, it's really tasty. My husband really likes it. He actually ate it raw and I'm like, no baby, you gotta like fry the tortillas a little bit because I left it uncooked in the fridge. Anyways, it's that good. But um, I highly recommend this recipe. You can save this video. That's pretty much it. I'll see you guys on the next 
Peggy's cooking show. 